Hi, Dr. Scott Beyer here, and I'm making this video for those who are wondering if, you know, why they're dizzy all the time and really haven't received answers elsewhere. Um, now, I know those of you who've done your own research have probably read about things like BPPV or those crystals in your inner ear, and although that is the most common cause of vertigo that we see in our clinic, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about a lesser known cause, something called Meniere's disease. Now, Meniere's disease in the research is thought to be driven, it's, it's thought to be autoimmune in nature. And what that means is that your body's immune system makes a mistake and starts attacking its own tissue. Okay? And in the case of Meniere's disease, it starts to attack the uh, inner fluid of the uh, inner ear. So the, uh, how this works right here, let me kind of explain what this is, is that um, this is considered our vestibular cochlear system. And we have our vestibular apparatus which kind of sits back here and uh, in, in our vestibular apparatus we have these what we call semicircular canals and they detect like head rotation okay side to side over and back um, and then these uh, otolith organs that detect kind of linear translation back and forth side to side up and down and then we have this cochlear system that detects really pitches of hearing so how this works is there's fluid okay there's different fluid channels in here and depending on either one which way the fluid is uh, going or two um, which fluid is, is changing it'll trigger certain hair cells or certain sensors and that'll transmit a message up to the brain okay well with Meniere's, there are uh, definitely some fluid pressure changes. So what happens is there's this buildup of fluid and that will cause spontaneous firing of this vestibular cochlear nerve and we'll see symptoms that are tied to that nerve, okay? So we'll see things like hearing loss or tinnitus and one of the hallmarks is, is it's uh, tinnitus that either precedes or it goes on during the bouts of vertigo. Um, because there are pressure changes, uh, a lot of times people experience like a fullness in the ear or, or fluid in that inner ear and uh, sometimes to the point where it sounds like, you know, if you were to put a finger on your ear and, and talk and you can hear your voice. Uh, and then also really extreme bouts of vertigo, okay? Now typically uh, for Meniere's disease, the episodes last anywhere between 20 minutes to 24 hours, okay? And it can be pretty debilitating in some but it can vary from intensity to intensity. Um, whereas things like BPPV or the crystals in the inner ear, I mean, if you're getting bouts of vertigo that last only seconds to no longer than like a minute or so, chances are it's that. But for those who are getting it a little bit longer, this needs to be one of the differentials that you want to rule out. Um, and because it's considered autoimmune in nature, you want to look towards what is driving the immune system to become hyperactive. So you want to look towards the foods you eat, you want to look towards um, things like salt, things like high caffeine, all of those have been shown to um, mess with Meniere's disease. Uh, if you guys found this interesting and you're, you're curious to learn more, highly recommend you like our Facebook page or you visit our event page if you guys are local in the area here and find out when we're holding our vestibular dizziness and our, our I'm sorry, vertigo dizziness and balance disorders workshop. We hold them typically every month or two uh, and you'll be able to find out right away if, if we're in our area because we'll be talking everything and anything when it comes to uh, dizziness, vertigo, balance disorders, most importantly, what you can do about it. Uh, I'm Dr. Scott Beyer. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day.